Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use Power World Simulator to do transient stability analysis in power system when one of the parallel line suddenly switched off. In this problem, it is assumed a natural gas power plant supplies power to an infinite bus through double transmission line. The voltage at the infinite bus is 138 kilovolt. The generator generates power at 11 kilovolt. A step up transformer is used to step up the voltage from 11 kV to 138 kV. The power is transmitted to an infinite bus through double transmission line and we assume uh, there is a sudden switching operation happens in one of the parallel line at the time of 5 seconds and we simulate this problem using powerball simulator to find out whether the system is stable or unstable after the switching operation happens in the double transmission line machine model and constant for transient analysis we need to choose some machine model in this uh, problem i am taking active gen cc model here we can see the different parameters h inertia constant d damping factor or the armature resistance xdp uh, synchronous reactance direct axis synchronous uh, reactance uh, quadrature axis axis like this we are selecting uh, there are so many parameters we are taking these parameters to do our analysis transient contingencies in this problem we are taking only one contingency to do our stability transient stability analysis that is a sudden opening of on transmission line it is assumed that one of the double transmission line is opened due to some unavoidable reason after opening how the system reacts uh, whether the system is stable or it goes to unstable state that we study in using this contingency here we are going to plot the swing curve of, for the different values of power transmission and the variation of accelerating power pa uh, it is the difference between the mechanical power and the electrical power under the megawatt uh, variation how much the power varies uh, uh, that is flowing from generator to the infinite bus now we verify the result using power world simulator in this problem we are going to do the sudden switching operation in one of the double transmission line and see the response and how the system reacts now we start with a new case go to draw network bus in our problem we are using three different buses the first one is generating generator bus which is operating at 11 kilovolt the second bus is 138 kilovolt the third bus is infinite bus it is also operating at same 138 kilovolt now we can connect double transmission line between bus 2 and 3 so it is having a series reactance of 0 0.7 and series resistance of 0 per unit second transmission line between bus 2 and 3 now it is asking do you want to create another transmission line between bus 2 and 3 give yes 
the value same value. Now we connect a transformer between bus 1 and 2 0 0.5 per unit Now we connect a generator zero megawatt should be left and it is a natural gas plant now we connect another generator at infinite bus it is right in this problem we are using three buses bus one two and three here i am going to choose this bus three as slack bus or reference bus here why I am choosing this bus as a reference bus always we take infinite bus as a reference bus of constant voltage and constant frequency now we have to model go to run add on transition stability option power system model infinite bus modeling no infinite bus model the power flow slack bus as infinite bus we have selected the bus 3 as a slack bus now we are taking that bus as an infinite bus then next step we have to choose the machine model to do the transient stability analysis in this problem, I am choosing Gen CC as the machine model to do our analysis. Here you can see the different parameters used in the, inside the machine. Inertia constant, damping factor, armature resistance, quadrature reactance, all the values are given here. We are selecting Gen CC for our analysis. Now we can run our model. Here zero power flow is from the generator to infinite bus. Since here the generation is zero. Now I do. I increase 5 megawatt power per mouse click. Now you can see the power is flowing from generator to the infinite bus. We can increase or decrease the power. This is the generator supplies natural gas power plant supplies power to infinite bus through double transmission line. This is the first part of our simulation work. The next part of the simulation work is uh, how to do the transient analysis by switching off one line. That is the second part of our simulation. Now we do the transient stability analysis by selecting the contingency of opening of one transmission line out of these two double transmission line because of some reason one line is suddenly switched off by opening the circuit breakers which is connected at both the end of the line. Now for this uh, transient stability analysis process now we start with transient stability
now we do the simulation the time starts at 0 it ends at I select 100 seconds for simulation now transient contingency element insert here we can see the branch bus generator load there are so many objects here we are going to choose only the branch so we are connecting the transmission we are opening the one of the transmission line which is connected at bus 2 and bus 3 we are going to do the open at 5 seconds at both ends now we do the plot we select the plot what are the parameters we have to select for our plot rotor angle second one megawatt acceleration third one megawatt now we can do our transient run transient stability for 30 megawatt the power which is flowing now it is 30 megawatt for this 30 megawatt we do the transient stability response from the plotted graph we can understand the power which is transmitted by the generator is 30 megawatt at the time of 5 seconds the switching operation happens because of that there is a large variation in the power and it comes and settles down at the same 30 megawatt here we can see the rotor angle rotor angle it's between 22 to 24 around 23 that rotor angle the torque angle also varies and it comes to the same 23 to around 30 degree and the megawatt angle variation also shown here it is varied here this PA accelerating power it is a difference of electrical power and mechanical power it is zero at steady state then again it changes because of the switching operation and it comes to the same zero value and reaches the steady state so here the rotor angle is not increasing abruptly or without bound from this we can note that the system is a stable state now we can continue our do our analysis for 40 megawatt and 50 megawatt for 40 megawatt the power is flowing now it is 40 megawatt now we plot the curve for 40 megawatt how the system responds for 40 megawatt now the torque angle is it is between 30 to 32 around 31 after switching operation it increases and it gone up to 41.5 something and we can see the similar variation in the power 40 megawatt it reaches the same 40 megawatt after the disturbance here a megawatt acceleration zero initially after it disturb here there is a variation in the acceleration power later stage it comes to same zero value we can do this this as a analysis for 50 megawatt also directly i do for 55 megawatt now for 55 megawatt here we can see the rotor angle that is torque angle it is increasing without limit without limit it shows it indicates the system reaches the unstable state 
अप टू फिफ्टी मेगावाट आवर सिस्टम इज स्टेबल आफ्टर फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री मेगावाट द सिस्टम बिकम्स अनस्टेबल दैट इज वाई फॉर फिफ्टी फाइव मेगावाट द सिस्टम रिच इज द अनस्टेबल स्टेट हियर फिफ्टी फाइव मेगावाट पावर इज फ्लोइंग टू द इनफाइनेट बास बट इफ यू ओपन दिस ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एट दिस फिफ्टी फाइव मेगावाट दस दिस जनरेटर बिकम्स अनस्टेबल uh it will not supply the power continuously to the infinite bus that is the conclusion we made from this simulation this table shows the result of our simulation from power world simulator the column 1 indicates the power generated by the generator column 2 is the torque angle before opening of transmission line column 3 is torque angle after opening of transmission line column 4 is time of opening of transmission line column 5 is the time the system reaches the stable state and the finally we conclude the system status whether it is stable or and stable from the table we can conclude for 30 megawatt to 50 megawatt the system is in stable state the torque angle increases 23 to 30 32 41 28 to 58 but it takes 40 second 55 second or not 6 seconds like that it is uh, uh, the time is increasing to reach the stable state for 60 megawatt power before opening its 42 after opening it is infinite and it is not settled down it not reaches the steady state the system becomes unstable from this table we conclude for less amount of power if we do the switching operation the system is in stable state if we go for higher amount of power if we do the switching operation for the higher amount of power the system reaches the unstable state